Hello all and uh, welcome to Roll Sims. It's me, Rolls. And as you can see, we have come in in the middle of drama. A person has decided to try to burglarize the Kimura family, who I am making this video to introduce you to. I decided to make some household videos. Oh my god, that alarm is so annoying. Wow. I hope that's not as loud for you as it is for me. At any rate, uh, <laughs> this is Kimura family. Oh my god. Good, you won. Now get, get him out of here. Stop the or her. Come on. Arrest her. Stop this from going off. Oh, Sims. Okay. Alright, so what I was doing here is that, uh, yeah. I decided to uh, do some household videos. I have a lot, 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 lot of households that I play. Here, let's pause for a second. And um, so I decided to uh, go through. Um, I'm not necessarily going to do them. Like a lot of people I see do like, you know, they do one every month. I have so many households that I just feel like I'm just going to intermittently go through and just like introduce the household um as you can see if you have a chance to look over at this hilarious mess this is a massive family um <laughs> i'm actually surprised that fraps is running at about 30 frames 35 or so frames per second instead of just two but anyway uh so this is the massive massive kimura family so i'm going to introduce you to everyone uh pretty quickly okay this family uh began here stop you're not going to work yet neither are you okay so this family started off with just oh some birthdays today of course there is okay this family started off with just mr quinn kimura here who is standing near the steps so i can't get his face now he's turned around. Oh my god, Quinn, why are you being this way? Okay, yeah. It started off with Mr. Quinn Kimura here, who has recently, uh, passed into elderhood. I think he's still really cute, though. He was quite the handsome man. And his wife, uh, Miss Desiree, who is, I believe, turning into an elder today. Yep, she's becoming an elder today. And is still looking quite good. Look how she's just very, very attractive. Um, so it started off with those two and their twin daughters. One, uh, Miss Hope, right here, and her twin sister, Miss Faith, who's out here talking. What are you talking about? Stop chatting. Leave each other alone. Um, and Miss Faith, who usually has a much better dress sense, uh, a sense of style than this, but she is uh, dressed for for work. So it started off with Grace and Miss Hope. They were twins and they were toddlers. I created them in cast that way. Oh, now the police officer's finally like, oh, yeah. Nobody asked you. Anyway, it started off with those two. And then I initially intended for them to not have. No, stop. Oh, my God, this is terrible. Trying to get them all to stand still. Um, I initially intended for them only to have those two daughters that I made them with in cast, but they had other ideas. Um, I was mostly just kind of trying to explore pets mostly with this family, as you can tell by the billion pets that they have. Um, but Desiree and Quinn, I had a bit too many, uh, too much autonomy activated there and... These two just kept uh, going at it, which led to the birth of, first, Miss Faith Kimura, who is right here getting some spaghetti, it looks like. And she obviously is a teen. I love her adorable hair. It's custom content. She's quite a cutie. And, most recently, to the birth of Constance. This little fella right here, who also is going to turn into a teen today. He's adorable, and he looks just, 
just like his dad. Oh my god. But yeah. Um so yeah. And so I'm just gonna go through and I'm just gonna let them do what they're gonna do as I explain their storylines. Okay, so uh Quinn is obviously you can see his traits right here. He's good, he's hopes romantic, he's animal lover, he's easily impressed, he's friendly. He's just a really sweet, nice guy who's getting in his really nice car and driving off uh, to his job, which is he's a neurosurgeon. Um, obviously, his lifetime wish is to reach uh, level 10 of the medical career. And uh, I mostly just chose that because for the traits I gave him, that was just like the automatic thing. And they were like, yeah, he, he should be a doctor. He should be saving lives. That's the kind of thing that he's going to want to do. So, oh, she's missing school. Well, I don't really care. Um, so he's just a really sweet, nice, wonderful guy, and obviously desperately in love with his his wife, Miss Desiree. Um, he has been, you know, working in the medical career the entire time. He's very, very close to his lifetime goal. In fact, he'll probably get it today, um, of becoming a world now surgeon. And there is his wife, uh, Miss. Desiree here and she is neat also good also an animal lover frugal and a green thumb and she has mostly she is very she see she's had jobs before when they were just starting out when they didn't have that much money but her true passion is gardening which is obviously something that she does at home so she is a self-employed gardener and she has a nice little uh gardening area out here in the backyard, amongst many other things that they have out here. So she has a little garden area. And her lifetime wish is to uh, have eight perfect, different species of perfect plants. She only has two. Which is really weird to me because she's a really, really good gardener. What are you two arguing about? What are you mad about? Oh, she must have scolded her for skipping school. LOL. Um, beg her for forgiveness. I'm gonna send you to school in a second. At any rate, so they've just always been very happy. Oh, that's cute. Um, oh, he's in trouble too. Who is he in trouble with? Who's scolding him? Yeah, beg for forgiveness. <clears throat> Anyway, so Quinn and, and Desiree, they, you know, have a big, happy, happy family. It was just them and their twins. They kept having children and children and children. I just had to stop them from doing that roast thing, but just had way too many. And why does her, the horse's thumbnail keep disappearing? Anyway, so Hope and Faith, um, no, Hope and Grace, my mistake. Oh my god, keeping these children, uh... Keep these children straight. Jesus. Um, anyway, Hope and Grace, uh, they were very similar but very different. They have always been the best of friends um, growing up and into their adulthood. Uh, Grace and um, is easily impressed. Animal lover, a genius, handy, and then she has a social trait. And a university degree trait, which is computer whiz and green thumb. Um, much like her mother, she wants to be a scientific specialist. So she wants to have level 10 in science and then reach level 10 in scientific, medical, or business for some reason. Um, and she is a few days away. She and Grace are a few days away from becoming adults. Um, and Hope has followed in her father's footsteps and gone into the medical career. She could have gone to science, but then, like... <laughs> Both, um, both parents were like, oh, I desperately, you know, they rolled the wish to, for her to become a doctor, and they also rolled the wish for Grace to become a scientist, but she was not going to do that. That's not her. So I figured I'd throw them a bone and let Hope become a doctor like her dad. She's currently level six. She's a trauma surgeon. She's very good at it. And of course... You notice this guy, obviously, kind of not belonging in this family. This is, uh, Hope's husband. Oh, Jesus, I need to fix, okay, you can go to work. This is Hope's husband. I'm gonna fix that later, because his, his, that should not be like that, just because I'm being terrible to these people. Okay, you can go to school. Go to school. 
You too. Also go to school. Okay. But this is her husband who is going off to work now. Uh, Mr. Irfan. Who... Uh, she met him at prom in high school, basically. I mean, she probably didn't meet him at prom, but it was one of those things where they go to prom and then they, like, fall for, like, XYZ person. And it was actually Grace who sort of, uh, started going out with him. Oh, Jesus, my frame rate has disappeared. Okay, there, it's a little better. It was actually Grace who originally started going out with him, um, around prom. And they went to prom together, but, you know... And uh, Hope was going up with an entirely different guy. And they basically just ended up, like, switching, um, dates. Slash boyfriends. Oh, my God. How many of these are there going to be? Always with these appearing. So, they basically end up, uh, switching boyfriends. Um, Grace is a her lifetime, which is Master Romancer. And she is a charismatic, flirty, social butterfly. And artistic in addition to the three traits she shares with her twin sister. Um... So she and her boyfriend, who was originally Hope's boyfriend, uh, here he is, Mr. Brad Gilly, did not work out. She basically text message broke up with him. Uh, she basically got tired of him. She never saw him. She didn't really care that she never saw him. So she just kind of ditched him, basically. Because that's the kind of girl she is. She, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't want something she's not going to pretend to. So, she went into uh, the journalism career, and she's pretty good at it. She's written quite a few books and things of that nature, and uh, yeah, she's living her life happily. She is nowhere near, by the way, fulfilling her lifetime wish thing. I don't think she's ever even wooed with anyone. Um, <laughs> and who is being flirted with? Do I even want to ask? Whatever, who cares? Oh. Um, Poor baby. And this little this little man right here who's throwing a, a fit is, is Saki. And this is uh, Hope and Irfan's son that they just had. Um, because, well, they didn't have him. Be, they both wanted children. Though it's hilarious to me now that both uh, Quinn and Desiree have the have five grandchildren wish. And they are not having five children. So they're going to be out of luck there. At any rate, so those two got married. Miss Grace is still single. I tried to put her on, like, the dating, uh, the online dating, but for some reason, literally the only person it will show on online dating who tries to browse profiles is her ex-boyfriend. So I have no idea what kind of glitch is happening there, but there you go. Um, and as you can see, this family is really, it requires lots and lots and lots of concentration to manage because there are so many Sims. I have fully 16 Sims in this family that I have to take care of. So, yeah. Um, oh, was she coming home? Oh, yeah, school's over, I guess. So, yeah, here is, and here is Miss, uh, the third, uh, Kimura child, Faith. Um, and she loves the outdoors. She's athletic, she's friendly, and she's equestrian. Uh, she spends a lot of time riding around with Miss Chardonnay, who is their horse that they bought from, um, the, uh, horsey place and she's been in a couple of uh races and done very well in them and this is her horse who's both agile and fast and we're gonna actually breed her pretty soon look at me i have the camera on while she's peeing anyway we're gonna breed her pretty soon then of course we have the youngest kimura mr constance who was a surprise to me even more so than faith because i was so sure that they would in no way ever have any more children i thought it was all under control and then they snuck up on me and had this little cutie right here um so he's a little bit clumsy he's neat like his mama he's easily impressed that seems to be their family trait honestly easily impressed which is pretty hilarious well desiree is easily impressed she has no time for that but most of the rest of them are. Um, and he's just, you know, he's a kid, so he doesn't have much going on. But he's about to age up to a teenager today. So we're going to see how that how that goes for him. And I've already introduced you to little Saki, who is now sitting on the floor in his PJs. I just got rid of one of these. How do they keep appearing? Oh, my God. Um, and so that's all of the uh, Kimuras, and in some of their cases. And Arafan, uh, Hope, and... In Saki's case is the Kimura Benners. Um, 
now to their million dogs. Yes, they have seven dogs. They originally only had two dogs. There was little Miss Ico here. And again, I started them. I made them in cast with two cute little Shebas named Aiko and Ryu. And they were mates. And unfortunately, sadly, probably the saddest thing that's ever happened in my Sims game ever. Because I never, I never let this happen. But I let it happen this time. Poor Ryu. He passed on. He has, of course, been around since. Hope and uh, Grace were were toddlers, so you know he's he was up there, and Aiko herself is up there, but she's still hanging on. And Aiko and Ryu had their little puppy boy, Mr. Ig, right here, and we decided who's actually gonna be older pretty soon himself. And not too long ago, they got him. They went uh, to the shelter and got him. A little friend and it sounds like Quinn has completed his lifetime goal how nice they got him a little friend who I can't seem to get the camera on here we go who currently has fleas snowball but this little cutie who has her back to us is snowball and they got her for him at the um as little friend at the uh which I'm gonna face it and they recently had puppies four of them <laughs> Uh, their names are Anthony, Benedict, Colin, and Daphne because they were three boys and a girl, uh, which is a reference to the thing. If you know what thing, cookie for you. Um, so yeah, this is this is this big ridiculous family and the, the frame rate keeps going wacky here. Try to keep an eye on it. Sorry if there are places where it's just not even watchable. Um, but yeah, oh, where you're going. Oh, Daphne's going to greet him. So yeah, this is a big, noisy, giant, impossible to control family. What are you doing, listening to a story? I have to fix some of their, uh, because he shouldn't be like this. He should be much better than that. But if I'm not paying attention to them, if I stop them from doing things, everything just becomes a mess. Oh. Hope is off to work. She has a night shift as a trauma surgeon. Where's your son? Oh, he's still sitting in the middle of the floor. But, uh, yeah, this video has already been long enough. Um, I haven't really... Oh, yeah, their house. Okay, I did not make this house. This rather lovely, giant, beautiful farmhouse sort of place that they live at. Um, where they still have their <laughs> their winter, their Christmas lights up, even though it's spring. Ha, ha, ha. I did the same thing in real life. Um, but anyway... This farmhouse, I got this from, uh, the, I think I got it from the exchange or somewhere. It also has, like, R-O written into it. Maybe that's the signature of the person who made it. I can't remember. Um, I will probably find out or figure it out in time to put it in the description for this video, but I can't remember. But it's beautiful. Um, I did some interior redesigning. I didn't do anything to the outside of it. I just left all of that the way it was. The only thing I did actually is I moved some of this little garden over a little bit. There was a garden but it was smaller and it didn't have, it wasn't fenced in and it didn't have the uh, the thingy from uh, the uh, stone store greenhouse so I put that in. But I did a lot of redesigning inside. It had a very, it was like basically like a log cabin type thing, which I thought was cute, but I didn't think fit. They are, they're a fairly, you know, modern family. So, you know, they could have a sort of comfy sort of, you know, feel, but I didn't want it to be too rustic. You know, they had a lot of kids and, you know, I've done up all of the rooms. This is Hope and Irfan and also Saki's room. Very nice. Um, here is Faith's room. This is a custom content uh, set of furniture here. They have a little play sort of general area. The cute little computer is this custom content. It's a MacBook, as you can see. Cute little sofa. Here is Constance's room. Which I'm going to have to redesign because you see he still has little kid stuff in here. He's about to age up to teen. And here is this lovely monument to pink. 
is Grace's room. Grace, you'll note, has a little trophy because before Faith was old enough to um, really get into, you know, horse riding and that sort of thing. She's just going to bed. She's like, man, screw it. Before Faith was old enough to get into that, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Grace is doing that. Also, Grace, if I can actually get the angle to see, she's a photographer. So she has a lot of pictures of things. And for some reason, this keeps doing this. So this one has, like, a lot of pictures of the house and things like that. Sort of sceneries. And this one has a couple of pictures of family. See, this is Faith as a baby. It's her mom playing with one of the dogs. Oh, I think that's actually Ryu. Oh, I miss Ryu. And uh, a very blurry picture of her mom. I should probably take more pictures of the family, but as you can imagine, getting anything done in an organized, orderly way in a family with 16 Sims is pretty much impossible. So, uh, yeah. This is, again, way too long, probably, uh, but there are a lot of them. They're doing a lot of stuff. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to end this here, but, uh, so, yeah, that's, that's the Kimura family. I will probably put up videos, uh, pretty soonish, you know, in the near future. Oh, a couple of other families. Oh, he's growing up! Yay! So, um, yeah, I'm going to probably put up videos in the future of a couple of my other families I like to play with. Uh, I'm going to end this here. Um, so you can't see Constance as a teen because he's probably going to need to make over anyway. But some other time, we'll probably do catch up. So, yeah. Oh, uh, wait, you are going to see him as a teen because I'm still running my mouth. Oh, his indifferent study habits. What are you talking about? He developed social butterfly. He looks so much like his dad. It's terrible hair. He does not have indifferent study habits. God, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna end this here. Uh, thank you for watching this mess. This is a very hectic video. Um, don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.